Hello friends, welcome to my new video. In today's lesson, I will teach you on how we back up our file server when using uh, Synback Pro. Uh, in fact, we have many uh, backup tools that we can use as I shown in the previous lesson. We can use Vim Backup, we can use Photograph Backup, we can use the service from the window, and we also use like Synback Pro. In today's lesson, I will uh, teach you how we back up our file server using Synback Pro. Okay, now I'm going to Synback Pro here, everyone. Yeah, Synback Pro is a, like a program that we can use to back up our data. Okay, you can see Synback Pro is, is a simple program to use with many options that uh, user define the ball parameter. The program is perfect for the novice and expert like we can modify we can delete we can pick up we send synchronize for our file server or data okay now i would like to up uh pick up my file server in my organization okay now to back up you click here new and then here you can put any name like i put uh pick up for example here you can put any okay i will put capital okay back up click next and then here it has two options for you you can back up synchronize and mirror so uh, this option uh, i think most of you can understand in this session i teach on you i teach you only how we back up because it's our main purpose if you want to know more you can click the question backup copy file in one direction from source to destination while if we choose synchronize copy file in both direction from source to to destination and from destination uh, to source so this uh, to uh, source and location they are synchronized for this one how about mirror okay mirror mirror ensure that one one drive yeah or folder contain the same file as another drive or order it is not the same as backup because it delete file that means it will uh, delete all file it is only not it is not it is also not the same as synchronization because it's copy file in one direction yeah so i do hope you can uh, understand about this okay now our purpose is backup next yeah here is source source uh, this one you can choose from internal, internal drive, network drive, or in our local and destination the same. We can uh, choose. I will this uh, keep this one as default. But in fact, this one it also have another. We can copy your backup with FTP, with Amazon Web Service, with Backblade, with Box, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Especially, it also send the profile, send the backup from Microsoft as well as well and OneDrive. So this one is fine with a uh, centric share file as well and also share point a lot of one you can see. Okay. So yeah this one is the same. Here in this lesson we will back up through our network. So I put this the same and then and then okay. Okay so when you uh, see this source mean uh, you have to choose your file server location okay i browse my file server location i browse the folder i want it's my file server okay and then source so if it's local it's easy to find but if it's not local it's through network you have to uh, like create a drive now i go to my window another physical machine yeah with the ip address uh, point one one okay now i'm going to back up to this folder we can back up drive everyone we can share the whole drive or we specify the uh the folder now we create a folder name my backup 2024 for example or my okay and then I right click on this folder and share. Okay, share. I go faster for this. I remove everyone. I put administrator. 
only administrator that can access this one. Okay, and then you pull permission to administrator. You okay. here, IP administrator is domain admin for me. Okay, 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 okay. And then we copy this, copy this path. Okay, and then we go to our uh, Synback Pro. Uh, everyone, I want to tell you that Synback Pro, you can install on your server or you can install your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Uh, it's the same thing. Now I press the location. Here is the location. And then, okay. Okay. Okay, so I will show this mistake. You see at the left side, the source, yeah, is the all our file server here are our file server okay while here is the destination so it will be copy all of this file you see the mistake copy all of this file to this destination and here is the uh, like the the name yeah the free space they will let you the the free space for both uh, destination and source okay so i just click uh, continue okay so now i want to run this i want to run and test for you before i run we let's go to see the together for my backup you see this folder it doesn't have right here is on my backup server so if i go to thin back pro again and then i click run okay continue or you can click here and show this again okay see the result is success if it's not success it will be alert here now i go to my here server is over okay it time or not let's see okay you see when i pre when i refresh my backup is coming okay my backup is coming on another server okay you see now minimize this here is the my domain controller let's say if i create one more file like test 2025 okay i paste okay and now i go to my server tool here you can see my server tool Okay, here is my, uh, we can say the backup, the, the backup PC. Okay, I go and check. Go and check. Yes, the dry uh, haven't come, I mean that the folder that we have created haven't come because we haven't run it. Okay, we haven't run it. So let's say if I, run my uh, server if we go to run my server here for back pro okay i run okay when i run we can go to see our backup server when that's come we can depress okay it's come right so uh, here it's you need to give the schedule for the your backup Mostly we do increment call for this. We can back up every six hours or every one hour or every four hour or you can set it schedule to back up at night time to avoid from your uh, latency of your network traffic. So to schedule we can right click here and then you find the schedule here. Okay. Schedule. And then you can choose to run whether the user is logged on or not, or run only when the user is logged on. So I choose this one. Yes. Yes. So it's we find me to put the password. Okay. My domain controller password. And then here you can back up daily, weekly, monthly. So I recommend uh, daily. So start. I will start. I have like. 18 and here's the time okay the time you can put uh, like 10 o'clock something like that 
and recur uh, every two day mean that it will be work re recurrent this one i put one day okay you can see setting it has more it has more option that you can do you can go and uh, uh, check it more explore it more okay okay and then it will show you the next run will be at 10 a.m 18 okay click ok you also can edit the schedule okay you see so okay so that's all for uh, uh, the backup of our file server using FinPack Pro see you in the next lesson